Hello. So last time out, I broke the Night Runner. Snapped this little piece here. And the drive cup flew out and I never found it. So I got something in the mail. All right. Got this from Eliminator RC. That's a good supplier if you're in Canada. Came here super quick. I think I ordered it last week and it was here less than a week. All the way across Canada. So, look at that. Jeez, I really need to sharpen this knife. All right. Eliminator RC, check them out. IFS2, that's what we got. That's pretty exciting. I'm gonna put that in there. Bunch of this stuff I don't actually need. Like the shocks, for example. Yeah, this should be a lot better steering. That's the big problem with this. The steering is really weak. And the bonus clearance is just a bonus. And that'll be great. All right, let's get this thing swapped around. A couple things I know I'm gonna have to do. The diff in this is gonna need to be swapped because right now it would make the wheels turn in the opposite direction from the front. This one needs to turn counterclockwise to go forward. See, it's going clockwise. So, gotta pull this case apart and flip the diff out. And other than that, I think everything should just bolt right in. We'll see. So let's pull this apart. Loosen these a bit. All right. Okay, so there is that part out. I need to pull this off too. And you can see this hokey old steering, floppy, and doesn't work very well. So pull these shocks off. All right, let's start with this pulled off of here. All right, now to swap the diff, we just gotta pull this bottom plate off. All right, now we should be able to pop this off. Make sure there's some grease in there, that's good. Just gonna pull this out. <laughs> There we go. Flip it around. There's this little tab here for some reason, which when you have this turned, doesn't let it sit in there. So I'm just gonna clip that out. Cut that little piece off. A little razor blade here. You could use a little Dremel wheel or something, but this is doing the trick. Put the metal shielded one in on the inside and the rubber shielded one on the outside. So to get this, tilt that like that, that's the easiest way. Then that'll slide in, put that up there, put that like that, like that. Seems all right. All right, good. Let's get this thing buttoned back up. All right, now let's swap out the shocks. Hopefully these will work a little bit longer. We'll see. It's 
preload it a little. I think they'll be able to sag down quite as far. Oh well, that's all right. Hmm, I'll do some experimenting with that later, but for now we're gonna just leave the regular ones on. Got the shocks on, that's good. Put this thing back on. All right, I think that's it for that. Let's see if we can slide this on in. When you're sliding this in, make sure you don't forget to put the drive shaft in. And when you're doing the drive shaft, make sure you line up these things. So see that whole thing there? You want that to be the same, this and this to be the same. I think that's good. All right, there we go. Just kind of rotate that to do the first one. Make sure I'm lined up good. Just rotate that down. And this goes in here. Before I get any further, I'm gonna make sure I can do the servo properly. Definitely would be easier to put the servo on first and then put this in here, but you can kind of pull this out and get that lined up. It just needs to be straight on that and then it will fit in here. Yeah, so I can get at it from over there. A little bit awkward, but not bad. The skid plate is done, so get rid of that. Well, it did good, but finally packed it in. That was a good skid plate. Just gonna tuck in there. That's gonna go like that. All right, looks good. Just wanted to make sure it wasn't getting bound up by anything. So you want to have the servo pushed as far back as possible. See how it can get a little bit of interference otherwise. Uh, I'll see how far back I can get it, but. All right, all good. Let's get the other side tightened up. These are little things I made out of binder covers because the 3D printed ones broke pretty much right away. All right, all buttoned up, I think. Yep, we're going the right direction. All right, let's put on this here. Wait to do the top till I get the body. Adjusted. Let's do a quick test. All right, great. Oh man, that is so much smoother and stronger. A little comparison, I can see how that looks compared to the other the old one, when it's all on there, pretty all right. These little disc covers are great too. They fit just perfectly inside. Get that all tidied up and see how it looks. Oh, good. So with this truck, what I've done with it, just put in the Fusion SE 1800. It's just right, not too fast, not gonna break anything. Well, thought I wasn't gonna break anything. I broke something. We'll see. These are these RC four wheel drive mud slingers, and I actually cut the foam down so the foam's about this big inside, and the top part is just rubber. Makes them a little softer. But anyways, yeah, this looks great. Much cleaner. The new skid plate is actually much tighter to the drive shaft too, so there's more clearance there. So before this bottomed out at the bottom the chassis was hitting the ground. Now there's still some clearance there. You can see, so, let's 
as low as it goes. And I had to cut the tips off the bumper also to fit these tires. But it still fits on the body, so let's throw that on. I got this little plate with the little head piece just stuck onto it in there to give it a little, little hint of realism. And the lights and everything, obviously. Also had to reorient where I had the holes in the back to get these set up how I wanted them. So there it is with the body. Just barely tucks in, the rears tuck in nicely. Goes up like that. And decent bit of articulation. I have these springs as soft as I can possibly have them without it not being able to rebound. And something with this, you need way stiffer springs in the front than the rear on this truck. Yeah, on these I have them completely as, as loose as possible. And these are cranked down all the way and it still barely brings itself back up and depending on your what you're doing you could just let it sit low and that's kind of how i like it but i want to have just enough you know a little bit of clearance let's go give that a test Well, works really good. Spots where the other steering was totally binding up like on that log there and just wouldn't move it at all. It totally works now. So, really happy with that. Another excellent element product. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.